Sometimes you feel like a nut. Good morning, farmers. April 1st. And surprise number one, the grass grew back instantly. So, yeah, don't bother mowing your lawn before <laughs> the season because the grass just grows in. Uh, chickens are fine. Cows are fine. Our crops look fine. Uh, the first thing I want to do is we need to hook up to this sucker because our storage should be full and I want to clear some of it out so it can accumulate over the time that we're harvesting fields. So obviously today everything should be ready to be harvested. We're going to harvest the big field and we're going to hire workers to harvest all the other fields that we can. Uh, I don't know if I, I don't know if I can harvest. I should be able to harvest the whole field today before dark. Uh, obviously, I'm wasting. I don't want to say wasting some time here, uh, doing some chores around the farm, but they need to be done. Uh, I need to run down here to take care of the greenhouse as well. The greenhouse should be ready or is ready. I saw it. But yeah, we're going to see how much money we can make in a day. After we can park this uh, slurry tanker. Uh, we'll bring the tractor down here because we need to bring the tra tractor with us down to the big field. But what I need to do is gather some of this stuff because hopefully the wife will be cooking a little bit. Um, I'm actually going to plant some zucchini and tomatoes today because we sold everything to reach our one and three quarter million mark and now the money I, I really have no goals at this point for money for this year yet all right so let's come here uh, let's grab some zucchini we'll plant two rows of zucchini and we'll do some rows of tomatoes as well I realize I can go back to John and buy them if I really wanted to, but I got eight pizzas. So that should last us a few days. Anyways, and then should be collecting eggs and milk as well in the future. So we'll have some of that in storage and if we need to, we need to. But hopefully, with the pantry being empty, she'll get back to cooking. I think, because it seemed like she stopped cooking uh, when the pantry got too full. I uh, haven't talked to her this morning. Obviously, you saw when I said good morning, farmers. It was like 6.01, so it's, uh, we're just getting right to work today. Right to work. We're going to put these right in the pantry. You can see our pantry is kind of bare right now. But uh, at least she has some pumpkins to do with... I don't know what the heck she does with pumpkins, but whatever. I was going to say, where is she? She's over there. Not going to bother talking to her. Not on purpose, but you know. Okay, actually, uh, while we're doing this. Okay, so this field should be ready for harvest. This is a three hectare field. Uh, harvest and sell. I realize we're going to pay some of these people. Well, we're going to pay all of them. Uh, can we have someone... Oh wait, I didn't wait, I didn't wait to six seconds, so I'm going to hire four, four people. So we just started with over 750, uh, 50 grand. By the time I finish hiring people, we're going to be down a little bit, but the money's going to skyrocket today. Mm -hmm. Cannot find a worker, so I got to harvest that field, which I kind of figured. Uh... Harvest and sell. Uh, we are having a hard time finding workers today, <laughs> apparently. Uh, how about this field? Harvest and sell? Mm. 
Hey, there we go. We'll, we'll keep hiring until we get four. But I got to give it some time in between. So now you can see the money going up. We got one guy already harvesting one field. Uh, it doesn't really matter what fields I have them go in. Just as long as they're working. Because we got like 20 some odd fields to get to. Not that I want to do them all. And you know what? Uh, can I get someone for that field? That could be a field I may not be able to. Yep, yeah, okay. Okay. How about this field? There's one of our workers. Alright, so let's be sure. One, two, three, four. Uh, plow the field job. I'm not going to plow the field. The first day, I'm not... I know I said I was going to... Uh, focus on social points not the first day the first day we're gonna harvest a big field and and har uh, hire workers to harvest all day long so let's head on down to the big field and when all four of those harvesters get going that money's going to skyrocket so we're already over the total that we start with even though we probably just spent what a grand actually it was probably more than a grand We'll just say like $1,500 to hire people. But uh, you're going to see all day in that video, in this video, <laughs> you're going to see that money going up because people are going to be harvesting all day long. Now, like I said, after we, we're going to harvest the fields that we have to harvest. And after I get done harvesting, uh, that's when we'll start doing work on other people's fields. Well, it, at least not in this video. Like I said, this video, I think we'll just focus on the big field. And next video, we may harvest a field and go do some work. Stuff like that. But let's head on over to where we left all of our equipment through the winter. All the fields are looking good. I don't see where nothing's withered or anything like that. Sometimes when you skip the winter, you can got, kind of go haywire sometimes. all this canola so what I gotta do from time to time is just check to make sure because it doesn't tell you when the workers are done it's gonna be kinda hard to tell since we got four workers harvesting that money is always gonna seem like it's going up all right we'll back this up to give our harvesters some room uh, wait, wait, uh, turn turn me around like you always do thank you All right, we're going to get to harvesting ourselves. So today, I think the goal for today is with us harv uh, harvesting, them harvesting. Can we reach two million today? It's a possibility. I mean, you can see with those workers going, we're we're already at 760, and that money's just going to go up and up and up. Yes, we're going to waste some money hiring people, but for as cheap as the workers are now, it's it's worth it. I mean, it's not even a grand per field, and they're going to bring in so much more than that. Uh, let's see, I did get about a good portion of this field done as well. And we're not going to hire any workers to plow and cultivate our fields until we're all done harvesting. But I probably will focus on hiring a lot of work to do our own fields because, like I said, I want to focus on social focus on social points for this year and uh, see if we can get really close to that million by the end of the year. As you saw at the end of the season. I got 30,000 social points in a matter of a couple weeks and I was just doing 
house inspections and uh, transportation jobs. So who knows, we might be at 900,000 social points by the end of the year. Who knows? I hate to say by the end of the year when we're on the first day of the season, so let's not... I don't want to jump too far ahead of myself. But hey, at the end of last year, we reached our goal of uh, one and three quarter million. It, it took a, a few steps to get there. But we got there. With uh, eight pizzas in our back pocket. So. Yeah, hopefully today the wife should collect eggs and some milk and maybe in the future. Er, uh, maybe I got to collect some mushrooms again so she can make more I, I really don't know what she does to make the baked fish that might be zucchini and fish I have no idea I don't know but when we run out of pizzas like I said uh, there'll be stuff in the pantry like milk and eggs that we could chomp on until our greenhouse spits out zucchini and uh, tomato And then she can get to cooking and uh, we can uh, start having tier 3 food again. We haven't had eggs in a couple years so our appetite should be fine. Should be fine. I just hope uh, having four harvesters and us going at the same time does not crash the game. So, <laughs> uh, Yeah, we're already up to 770 grand and, and, and climbing. Oh wow, our tank is almost full. Holy crap. Yeah, you forget how much winter canola actually does produce. Uh, am I going to get to the end of the field? Please? Please? Just barely to the end of the field. <laughs> Alright, we I got to unload already. I didn't even make it one time around the field, so that's, that's good stuff. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We got a lot of money sitting in the fields. <laughs> yeah, usually I can harvest this field in one day pretty easily, but since it's winter canola, it's going to produce more, so we're going to have to unload more and make more trips to the sell point, which, you know, it's fine. I think the wife will understand if we're kind of uh, working late tonight. Especially when she sees the bank account by the end of the day. Genius. There's a brick building there. So at least it's an easy number to remember. We started spring cleaning at 175 or, or 1 and 3 quarter million. So we should be able to remember that, right? 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 <laughs> Hopefully. Wow. So we're pretty much... We haven't brought nothing to sell point, but... We've pretty much made almost 30 grand so far, and we, have, we haven't done nothing. And we got so many fields to go. It's going to be a good day on the farm. <laughs> Old McDonald will be proud. E I E I O, oh, look at that cash. Uh, are we empty yet? Oh man, we're gonna have to unload so many times, but that's that's a good thing. I tell you what, I'll bring it back in a second for you. But uh, I'm gonna top off the trailer and top off the combine again, and we'll see where we are at that point. Uh, let's not even nine o'clock in the morning yet we've already brought in 30 grand so yeah I'll see you in a second about to make our first delivery and I'm not gonna mention the money cuz you can see it every time the videos up where we're at so yeah we're, we're about ready to dump off our 16,000 
looks like warp speed on that money. <laughs> yeah, so maybe two million today isn't that much of a stretch. We'll have to wait and see. Like we always do. I'm trying to see canola. Yeah, 720 a ton, but there's a lot of it out there. And it likes winter. And I think I've only harvested, I think, just under 20% in the big field so far. And the combine sitting back there with a full tank. So I think what I'm going to do, because uh, you're going to see some harvesting in the next few episodes. Uh, like I was thinking I was going to harvest a field maybe like on the next episode and then do some uh, some work for other farmers to get some social points. But then it's going to be hard to keep track of what our spring cleaning is doing. So I think we're, what we're going to have to do to get an accurate reading of our spring cleaning is to just do nothing but spring clean until we're all done. Then I can do uh, other jobs. So hopefully we can have all these fields harvested in like three or four days. I mean the workers will get done a lot, most of the fields. We have to do like maybe seven, somewhere around there. But let me get back to the harvester. Uh, and I'll come back when we make another delivery and we'll see where the total is. But it's not even 11 o'clock in the morning yet. And we're getting pretty close to what, uh, 80 grand that we made today so far. So like I said, it's going to be a good day. But I'll see you in a second. Coming up for round two. Let's see. Oops. So the uh, original four workers are still going. They're still in the same field. And we're doing mighty fine on the money. Uh, it's getting to be 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So, in theory, by 6 o'clock, we should be at, like, uh, 1.95 million. So, if we work until 8 o'clock, which I think we probably will be, uh, I think get, reaching 2 million today should be not a problem. Not a problem at all. As long as I don't uh, forget to be hiring workers and checking now and then. Get one, two, three, four. Still four workers going. It's kind of hard to tell with the money going up so fast. <laughs> and our field, we're not even 30% done yet, I don't think. So, yeah, I got a ways to go with the big field ourselves. I don't want to say we're not making much progress, but, you know, I keep making run, you know, filling up the trailer and heading up there, which takes us a little bit of time. We're not that far from the sell point, so it's not too bad. But, yeah, I think uh, reaching 2 million today should be reachable. It's just amazing how much canola is in these fields and, and how it's yielding very well. Which we knew it would, but this seems to be yielding better at a better rate than I thought. I mean, in theory, we're, we're doing five fields for helpers and ourselves. And we've already brought in over $125,000. And we got about, what, 26 fields of canola? Of variant sizes, obviously, but this gives a rough idea of what we're gonna, what we're gonna rake in this spring. I mean, what did I say? I, I was hoping we get up to... Uh-oh, I'm getting hungry. Uh, I don't know. Spring cleaning, I was I was hoping for like a million twenty-five. So we get up to like, what, three million in total? Don't know. It looks, it looks like it's reachable, but we are doing all the big fields first. But uh, you can see where are the fields so where are we uh, yeah we only harvested 28% we still got 71% to go. <laughs> I got a ways ways to get going so I'm going to get cracking at it. I may make a few more deliveries up before I bring it back again. 
Uh, you don't need to see me make every delivery up to the sell point, although some people may really like seeing that, but it may get rather repetitive here <laughs> in the afternoon. Uh, I need to get cracking on it and then see where we get to. Uh, what time is it, though? Yeah, it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon, so I really need to get pumping on this field here. We're only 30% done. So I will see you in a second once again. Rolling on up to about 7 o'clock in the evening. And rolling up to that $2 million mark. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll top a $2 million mark, no problem, for the end of this episode. Uh, our trailer is full of grain that we got to bring up. That'll be our fifth load. And I'm just getting ready to fill up the, the harvester as it is. We're at 66% in the harvester. Uh, probably should check. Still got four workers going. I brought the workers down here to start working. One, I can keep an eye on them so I know when they are done. And then two, I'll know what fields down here I do need to finish or do ourselves. Which I believe there's only one other field down here that we have to do ourselves and that's right across the way right there. The two closest to this road to our left. The big field and that field up there. I think the rest of the workers can do. But mainly for the purpose of I can kind of keep an eye on the workers just a little bit better to know when they are done. Instead of having to keep check the map like every couple minutes or so at this point. So I had to hire, as you saw, probably saw you got three workers down here now. So the so we the workers have done seven fields today, or are working seven fields today. We're not going to finish this one today. I'm not going to push ourselves here to work every night until midnight or whatever. Our goal mainly was to get to two million today and. Yeah, we're going to we're going to overshoot that by quite a bit. Uh, make sure I click on the right material cuz I want to cancel any of our workers. Where am I? Okay. So we got a worker in this field right here as you can see. They don't really, when they harvest, kind of like a plow, they only, they're only harvesting like a third of what the width of the harvester is. You can see another harvester working away up there. And they're probably going to hit the $2 million mark before we get up to the sub point and do it ourselves. Which is all fine to me. And we have another harvester in the field uh, coming up here on our left. Hopefully. As yeah, so you can see, when the, uh, they harvest, they don't put the header down, which is whatever. And he's doing about half the width of the, the harvester's header. But they're getting the job done. Hey, for what we're paying them, you know. <laughs> I can't complain too much. Hey, there's, a, there's 2 million euros. Reach our goal for the day. And really I want to uh, empty the combine harvester and leave an empty harvester to start first thing in the morning. So yeah, we're not going to work on our social points at all until we get all of our fields harvested so we can see what our spring clean out produced. Uh, which is obviously, we're going to say 175, uh, 750,000 what we started at. So... We've already bought in a quarter million bucks. And we got a ways to go still. The big field, I think we're somewhere around 60% harvested. And this is our fifth trip, so, you know, we probably got like another four trips alone in that field. I wonder in the next update if they're going to make the prices change. Because, I mean, at this point, the factory is probably saying, hey, enough with the canola. Bring us something else. We don't want any more. Demand would be way down on canola right now for as much as we brought it brought in. 
Because we've brought in somewhere like what, 70, 80,000 ourselves? My brain can't quite figure out 5 times 16 right now. Uh, yeah, 75, 80, somewhere around 80,000. And when the night noise is kicking into the game, like the crickets and the... I assume that's supposed to be some kind of an owl once in a while making that noise. It's, yeah, it's just about time to call it an evening on the farm. I mean, you can't really complain about making over 250000 in a day. That's a couple of these tractors right here. So in theory, we actually got about, with the workers, three fields are done. And probably the other one up by the farm, he should be done sometime soon. Then we'll move him down here to one of these fields and just, uh, easier to keep an eye on him. Yep, matter of fact, he's, he's actually done. Uh... Oh, because I'm parked right next to him, like, workers hard in that field. like, I don't see him. Well, he's right on top of us, or our icon was probably on top of him. Uh, you know what? You can harvest that field there, or someone can. Because we're going to work this a little bit longer. I need to empty this combine and get another about 4,000 grains into it. Well make another delivery ourselves so we'll have made six trips up to the sell point ourselves once this uh, combine unloads and we I'm you know, getting used to farming simulator where I get front and back lights but this one here just got hit lights once and is done So somewhere around 35 grand we'll end up with. I don't, I don't say the million dollar too much because it just gets confusing. See you say so we end up with like uh, 35 thousand in the bank by the time we're in tonight. I think. Uh, turn the header on, and we'll try to collect only four grand. Yes, yeah, so what we on the, on the field we are 61 percent done. Yeah, it's just taking us longer to harvest the field just because we're running up to the sell point so much. I think in the middle of summer, when we harvested this field and it wasn't quite fertilized, of course it wasn't winter canola, I think it was peas, I think we got about two, two and a half trips up to the sell point of peas. So definitely plant winter canola if you can, because it's the price. I mean, uh, you're you're seeing the benefits right now. I mean, the game kind of tells you when it's loading, like, oh, winter wheat and canola. That's what you want to plant. We'll head on down this row here. That should easily get to 4,000 in the tank. Actually, we're just about there. And we'll empty it out, make a trip of the sell point, bring our tractor trailer back down here. And we'll head to the farm, and I will check the pantry just to see if the wife did cook anything today, but I doubt she did. That's close enough to 4,000 for me. And let's click on this right here, which is us. Well, it's always us, but it's the tractor. Heck, Tom, we get to the sell point. It may be over. No, I think what did I say? Thirty-five. Which, yeah, we're we're going to be closer to almost two four. Uh, yeah, forty grand over our mark today. So almost three hundred thousand dollars made in a day.
kind of too bad the lights don't stay on the tractor. Like, you don't have to turn them off yourself. I shouldn't overfill the trailer, but we'll just keep an eye on it just to make sure. So we still got 35% more to go in the field, or 36-ish. Actually, I did feel the trailer, which I don't know how I did that. Because I wasn't at 4 thousand. whatever. Hey, I'll take it. We shall take it. Yeah, the workers don't turn their lights on either when they're working this late at night. Now when we go to sleep and wake up, wherever we felt, you know, go to sleep and wake up, they're not gonna, they don't work as you sleep. So they'll just continue where they left off. Hopefully. <laughs> But all of our workers are down here now. So we can keep an eye on them. Should be... Well... That guy's not quite harvesting, is he? Now, that is the one I think I've heard reports on to where the guy cannot work the field. Uh... Yeah, he's got problems. We may have to can him and do that field ourselves and get him working on another field. So we lost us a little bit of money there, but really at this point, who cares? Uh, so that's, yeah, I can't remember if I ever hired a worker to work in that field before. And I can see the harvester, yeah, he's trying to climb the telephone pole. And I think that's one that this might be the field that they were talking about. I thought they said the agri agricultural store. What is this actually called up here? The market. So maybe they did say the market in the discussion forum. The field south of market. The worker climbed the telephone pole. So that must be the one they're talking about. Has not happened to me yet until now. So now I know exactly what field they're talking about. Let's dump off our load. We'll go back and see if that guy's still having problems. He is about to fire that guy and uh, move him over to another field. Which I'm certain that we're going to have to from what I read on the forums. So now you know yourself. So don't, don't hire. I believe I hired people to plow and cultivate that field before without a problem. I guess the harvester is a bigger machine. And he's having some problems. Yeah, so basically by the time we wrap up here today, we're going to be, you know, made a $300,000 profit today. And here I was wondering if we would reach $2 million, and we shot over that. So, And actually in one day, we've reached half of what our spring cleaning was last season. I think last season was like 600, 650000 for the for the spring. All right, so we need to fire this guy because he's a moron. All right, I don't want to get too close to him because it'd be hard to see. See, just by, I wish, see, like right there, I just had to click on me canceled. I wish they would come up with a notification like, "Do you wish to cancel this worker?" Because if you misclick, that sucks. Uh, alright, let's have him work, harvest, and sell that field. Just keep an eye out, because he may come up behind us or something. He spawns from somewhere. But that's why I had the workers start with the big fields first, because by doing the smaller fields, they're going to wrap up their jobs quicker. So it's going to be kind of hard to keep an eye on him. Where's this guy coming from? He's coming from nowhere, basically. So.
So, yes, our first day of spring. Spring cleaning. And, uh, yep. We're going to profit $300,000. No problem. Right now I'm just going to park this right here. Close enough. I just want to run up here to this field up here to see roughly how much he's done. Uh, can I pick up that mushroom? Because I need some mushrooms as well. For the wife. Strawberries, what she can't do nothing with yet, apparently. Really? Because I want mushrooms, you're going to give me strawberries? A whole bunch of strawberries here. Actually, he's got a ways to go still. Not a wait, not, not much further to go, but yeah, he's he's making progress. Let's head back to the farm. Yep, so all that mowing, it, oh, I didn't do that much mowing, but yeah, all the grass grew back in no time. Wife is probably sleeping. Actually, that, that's where I need to go. I'm not going to bother going down the fireplace. So we'll just we'll just say goodbye from right here. So guys, thanks for watching the first episode of Spring Cleaning for this year. As the money keeps rocketing up. <laughs> I appreciate you watching as always. Hopefully you enjoy the episode. And I'll see you in the next episode of Spring Cleaning. But until then. Have a good one.